This is the Yolanze DJOS Moxion 3 metal cage and it's fantastic. In today's video I'll go over all of its features and why you should consider purchasing one for yourself. A quick disclaimer Yolanze did send me this product for review but this video is not sponsored, all of the opinions expressed in this video are my own. With that said, let's start. The Yolanze OA14 metal cage is completely built out of metal and weighs around 90 grams. The benefits of having a metal built quality cage are that it can protect the camera from drops and bumps and also it can help cool down the camera if you are filming for long periods of time. It's very simple to install the camera inside the cage, simply press the red button to open the side door, slide the camera inside and close the cage. Once the camera is inside the cage, the battery slash USB-C side doors are easily accessible for removing the battery, SD card, charging the camera or transferring files. Basically using this cage does not require removing any of the side doors, this makes it simpler to use and maintains the camera's waterproofness. There are several mounting points on the cage. At the bottom there is a standard DJI magnetic mount, a foldable GoPro mount and a quarter inch thread. Then on the side door there is another DJI magnetic mount with a quarter inch thread for mounting the camera vertically. On the top of the cage there is a cold shoe mount for attaching accessories such as a microphone or a compact light. Unfortunately though this cage only has one cold shoe mount so you can not really attach two accessories at the same time. It's not really a big deal for me, however it's something worth considering before buying this cage. Finally, if you frequently change camera filters like ND filters, this cage will allow you to do it without removing the camera. So right now I am vlogging with the Osmo Action 3 and the Yulanzi metal cage. For audio I'm using the Rode VideoMic Go 2 with the Boya BYK4 USB-C mic adapter. And yeah, everything feels very sturdy and the audio quality is excellent, however with this set up, I occasionally get weird crackling noises in the audio. I'm not sure if it's the camera or the USB-C mic adapter or the Rode microphone. I usually get it when it's pretty windy and it's really annoying. If I figure out what's causing the issue, I'll let you know down below in the comments. Anyhow, thank you for watching and I guess I'll see you again soon. Peace. Look at this. Beautiful sunset here. Awesome. Bye.